Today we're talking sleeping pads and why I upgraded to a much lighter one to a much heavier one. Now both of these are climates, this one being the Inertia X Lite and this big guy right here being the Static V2. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about both and why I upgraded from a smaller one to a much bigger one. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with the Inertia X Lite. Now the Inertia X Lite does weigh 7.4 ounces. Um, with that being said, the pad itself only weighs 6.1 ounces and it does come with this, um, what do you call it, air pressure pump. It kind of, once when you get it blown up by your mouth, you just kind of use this little pump to kind of give it more of a fine tuned pressure firm. So that's kind of nice that that actually came with it. And it does come with a repair patch kit inside as well in case it were to happen. You do have this that came with it. So that is also also eh, it's late nice to have for your sleeping pad I've had this for about seven years now and I've never had to use it luckily knock on wood that has not happened to me so so far so good now I have like I said I did buy this about seven years ago and I recently looked on Amazon to see what it currently goes for and um, it says currently unavailable so I'm not entirely sure if this is still being made by the manufacturer of climate or not so, yeah, and this is, um, you'll see it more once when I get it blown up. It's more of a head and torso kind of pressure, high pressure point lay. Um, you'll see that when I compare them both side by side together. So, yeah, we'll move on from that. As you can see, this is actually pretty small, comp compressed down. It's about the size of a Red Bull can, maybe a Monster Energy drink can. Not too big, actually kind of. Squeeze it down a little smaller than that if you wanted to. So moving on. Next up, <clears throat> Static V2. Now this this guy does weigh one pound, one point two ounces, or seventeen point two ounces. It does have a R value of one point three. Now what that means is the R value is kind of like an insulation rating. The, they're usually scaled between zero and I think six. I could be wrong, maybe seven. And what it is is, say your R value. This is a 1.3. The insulation rating, temperature-wise, is probably going to be around 40 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So, the higher the R value, once we get closer to like you know six, it drops down to like the negative Fahrenheit. So. Uh, I think if I remember a zero degree insulation rating on a sleeping pad, I think it's an R value of 3.5 around that. So the higher the number, the more insulation you're going to have for those kind of basically your winter trips. Um, now the inertia line does not have an R value to them. Um, I think there's about five models of the inertia and they're not based on an, an R value so I couldn't find anything on that. Now I do know um, not a lot of uh, big manufacturers, not everyone uses the R value. I know Big Agnes and I think Nemo doesn't do an R value. They'll just flat out tell you the, the rating as is. So yeah, this one will, it says it on here actually, what is it? 72 inches by 23 inches is the full length as you can tell by the picture of the body. Um, the Inertia x Light probably f goes to about your torso and up, but we'll see that here in just one second. So, here we are. It's laying on top of the static V2 next to the Inertia x Light. So, let's talk about them. As you can see, side by side, might be a reason why it's called the X-Lite, because you can tell it's kind of missing the bottom part of your uh, your legs here. And it's kind of the point of your head and torso pressure points when you lay down on this one. And first thing you might notice is, where's the rest of the pad at? Well, sleeping pad, essentially what you do is that when you put your sleeping pad inside your bag, you're compressing all that, basically your down loft that's inside there, so there's really no insulation anyway. So what this does, it creates these little pockets of insulation for warmth that gets created on the back part if you use a sleeping bag compared to a quilt, which doesn't really have a back side to it anyway. So, as you can tell, 
the little thickness, eh, it's probably about an inch, inch and a half, something like that. Compared to the Static V2, it's got a little bit more thickness to it. The reason why I had switched over my sleeping pad system from this Inertia X Lite to the Static V2 was more so for comfortability. I'm all about being comfortable while I sleep. Now I had this pad for a number of years before I finally upgraded to it. Nothing wrong with this pad. It's just after having it for so long, experiment with it, I need something more comfortable for me. So, yeah. Another thing to point out about sleeping pads like this is that I've seen a lot of people say that they've had a hard time side sleeping on top of them. I'm a side sleeper myself. I found one or two positions where I can lay on this thing sideways and be pretty much comfortable all night. Compared to something like this, you can just lay however you sleep. You know, doesn't really matter. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next one.